Templates can be modified to let the user have more control over the final look of the publication. The layout can be changed by moving objects as well as your text boxes around in your working area. The colors of each object in the template can also be modified. When working with publications that have multiple pages, the users can add, delete, and rearrange the order of them. Also, when working with text across multiple pages, there is more or less a continuum in reading the order that can be established as well as modified by linking and breaking the linked text boxes. To work with these concepts, we're going to create a newsletter in Publisher. To begin, ensure you have the Publisher program launched and the newspaper publication open. Take note of the status bar. We can see that we are currently viewing page number one of four pages to our newsletter. You may find it a little hard to read the text on the newsletter because it's so small. To quickly increase the magnification of any publication to 100%, you're going to use the F9 key on your keyboard. When you press F9 again, it will switch back to the previous level of magnification. Let's view our other pages in the document by clicking on the page thumbnails on the status bar. If you would like or need to add additional pages, you need to be aware of the current page you are on. Let's go ahead and add the pages towards the end. So ensure that you have the fourth page thumbnail selected. Then click the insert menu. Select the page option. Since you're working with a publication with multiple pages, we're going to add pages of multiples of two for the left and the right page. In the Insert Newsletter Pages dialog box, choose the content and layout for the left and right page respectively. Then, to add the pages to your current publication, click the OK button. Note on your status bar, you now have six pages in your publication. Notice two of the pages are now highlighted in orange on the status bar, as well as we are viewing two pages in our working window. To revert back to working with only one page at a time, first, select the View menu. Deselect the two-page spread option. You can change the order of the pages on the status bar as well. Click on the page that you want to change the order of. Then, drag to either the left or the right. And when you see the black down point arrow, release your mouse. To delete unwanted pages, first select the Edit menu, then select Delete Page. To solidify the deletion, select the Yes button in the Open dialog box. Repeat the same steps for any other pages you would like to remove from your publication. Now, let's navigate back to page number one. Increase the magnification to 100%. Take a look at the text boxes in the upper left-hand corner with the volume and issue. There is a box surrounding the text with dotted lines. These dotted lines are strictly for visibility purposes and will not be printed out unless formatted. The dots become useful in order to relocate or modify the text box. When you place your mouse over the dotted borders, it will turn into a four-sided arrow, which denotes to you that you can now move that object. Using the left side of the mouse, click the border and drag the text box about half an inch. Notice, when you have the text box selected, eight resizing handles appear on the corners and sides 
which enable you to click on them and adjust the width and height as well.